Horse-drawn vehicles were once a necessary part of life on the farm and still are for some people. However, when something goes wrong and a wagon, buggy or carriage wheel needs to be repaired or replaced, folks can't call the local tire shop. What they need is a wheelwright. Frank Callick recently found himself with wheel problems on his farm in Europe. He decided he wanted to learn the trade and fix the damaged wheels himself. I'm working on a farm in France with draft horses and oxen and I have a few carts for me and I wanted to rebuild them to repair the wheel and um, I first wanted to try to find someone who could help me but in Brittany and France there is something like less than 10 wheelwrights in France still and they didn't want to learn me. After much research and no success finding someone close to home to teach him the trade, Frank found a wheelwright willing to share his knowledge. However, it meant that he had to travel to Canada, more specifically the Peace River area of BC, for a six-week apprenticeship with Randy Kirshner of Rafter K Wheelwright. We've been working uh, mostly on wheels, big wheels or small wheels, uh, wagon wheels like that. The principal things I wanted to do is wheels, so I really enjoy to work on those. And the big ones, we have made the big ones like the one behind me. And uh, those are more like the big curved wheel for farming I would like to work on. The biggest challenge today in becoming a wheelwright is that it is no longer a trade. Tools and supplies needed to build or repair a wagon are not readily available and often must be built from scratch. Out, because they have to stretch over these tenons. Well, here they can buy most of the parts of a, of a wheel to repair and do the job they have here? to do. In France, I'm not sure that we have all the, the people where I can buy some. So, or I, make, I made them come from the States or Canada, which probably will be more expensive or I have to do it myself, so that that's will be probably the, the harder thing. Many skills are required to be a wheelwright. Blacksmithing, welding, and carpentry. I had a background as a boat, boat builder, so I knew quite a few about wood already, and um, I learned here the base to start. After that, well, I will surely found some problems that I have to face with, and. Uh, but I still can call Randy anyway. <laughs> Frank, he wanted more in depth than just a, a five day course. So he wanted to come and work in the shop. Some of the problems that we come into, Frank's worked through most of them by himself. We've been working every day from eight till six, seven days a week. We haven't really taken a day off. So he's, he's wanted to put the time in. He's gone to the expense of coming over here. So we're trying to get as many hours in the shop as we can for them. I came especially only for wheel, wheel writing, so we spent every day at the shop and uh, well, I haven't been wandering too much around, but I wanted to spend the most time I could on wheels and uh, that's what we've done, so I'm really happy, yeah. For Shaw TV in Fort St. John, I'm Diane Townsend.